This video is sponsored by sellcashier.com where it compares iPhone prices on the interwebs and then gives you a quick quote and the most cash for your iPhone. It's simple, fast, and secure. What is up guys, Joe here back with another video and today we'll be checking out what is new in iOS 9 Beta 3. Now if you haven't checked out my past coverage on iOS 9, definitely check it out to see more iOS 9 features. I'll leave the links to those videos down below in the description. Also, for those of you who are interested in checking out iOS 9, Apple will be launching their public beta later this month. I'll be sure to let you guys know when it's available on social media, so if you're not following yet, go ahead and do so, that way you'll have the latest updates. Now with iOS 9 Beta 3, we get a few additional things. So let's go ahead and check out what is all new. So with the third version of iOS 9 Beta, we finally get Apple's new music streaming service, also known as Apple Music. Now Apple Music allows you to stream music and also even download music to your device. It's a great new service and if you want to check out a more in-depth review of it, I actually did a hands-on and walkthrough. I'll leave a link down below or you can go ahead and tap on your screen if you are on a mobile device. But it's going to be the same thing that you see on iOS 8.4. Nothing has changed for iOS 9 Beta 3. But like I said, go ahead and check out that video. I'll leave an annotation and also a link down below in the description. Now if you head over to the settings application under music, you now have the option to stream high quality over cellular. So you can go ahead and enable that if you always want to stream music at the highest quality. Now the next thing is that we have Apple's new app called News. Now in beta 2 we had the option to turn on news for iCloud services so it'll sync across devices but we didn't get the application yet. But now with beta 3 it is included. So if you're not familiar with news it's going to be Apple's new application that allows you to read the latest news. It's going to be a Flipboard style application. So if you're familiar with Flipboard, you'll probably know how to use this application as well. It's actually more simplified, I would say, in my personal opinion. So here on the first page, we get some of the first publishers to Apple News, which is going to be things like the New York Times, CNN, ESPN, and things of that sort. Uh, but you hit continue and you'll also be able to select your favorites. I'll show you that here in a second. I actually skipped that screen just now. But here you have the Git News in your inbox. So the best story selected for you. You can sign up for that or I'm just going to choose not now. I have different things already selected uh, because I was using it on the iPad before this and it's synced over my data to this because I have the iCloud setting turned on for news. But there's going to be five little tabs down here at the bottom. We first get our For You tab. So this is going to be all the news for you depending on what you selected. And it's a really nice and simple interface uh, that you'll simply be able to tap on one of these articles. And then you'll have videos, there'll be slideshows and things of that sort. And you'll be able to scroll through the whole article here, through the news. But if you notice down here at the bottom, we have three icons. We have the little heart here where you'll be able to like that article. Or you can also dislike the articles. Or you can just go ahead and deselect it. We also have the share button down here. So you'll be able to share it across uh, social networks or you can add it to your notes. Uh, text it to somebody and also you'll be able to open it in Safari and all that but we'll cancel that and down here you have the saved icon so you can save it to read it later but going into your favorites tab you'll be able to see all of your favorite publishers now you can go ahead and edit and then delete some so I'm gonna go ahead and delete some of these uh, right here and we'll just go ahead and hit done so this is where you're gonna have all of your favorites now if we go to the explore tab here you'll be able to explore a variety of channels or topics that are suggested for you and then down here at the bottom, you'll be able to browse through news, business, style, sports, food, technology. Um, and for example, let's go ahead and, and, and do one real quick. Technology, of course, because uh, that's relevant. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And now we have the browse channels, browse topics. So we'll be able to select, for instance, The Verge here. And we'll have that little check mark. So now if we go to the favorites it'll actually pop up right here. But going back into Explore, we'll be able to add more. So I'll add Wired here. Um, so yeah, you pretty much get the, let's go uh, Smartphones. And then as you see here, it'll be on your Favorites tab. So that's the Explore page right here. Uh, simply Explore through different uh, categories, channels, topics. But going down to Search here, we'll be able to search different things, of course. And then going down to the Save tab, we have our saved articles. Or you can actually go to your history and view all of your recent history right here. So we can go ahead and clear that out as well. And we'll go back to the saved ones and then we can easily browse through our saved articles that we want to read uh, later in the day or something. 
Now in beta 3, when you activate Siri, it's actually silent now. That little noise that you would normally hear when activating Siri. As you see there, you didn't hear any noise come out of it. So that's something new in beta 3 as well. Now checking out the photos application, we now have two different folders. We have a selfies folder. So this is going to be all the photos that you've taken with your front facing camera, of course, all your selfies. And then we also have a screenshots folder, which is going to have all the screenshots that you've taken. So you'll be able to quickly find those selfies or screenshots. Now also in the settings app, if you go down to the battery portion of it, it has a little slight redesign here. Uh, but if you go into it, we also have a little icon right here on the right hand side. And if you go ahead and enable that, it'll either give you the on-screen time or the amount of time it's been running in the background. Now checking out the mail application, if you swipe over to the left, you now have icons for more flag and archive. So you see here we have dots, we got a flag, and we have a little box for the archive icon. And if we swipe over to the right, we now have a red. And when we go ahead and read that, we can also switch it to unread. So you see different icons now on here instead of it just saying more flag or archive and also here saying unread or red. So it gives you better little visual here. Now another thing in the mail application is when you search for something. So when you do go ahead and type in something to search, when you hit search, it'll actually have a progress bar right here. So it gives you a better visual as well of how long it's taking to search or how long it's taking to complete that certain search. Now when it comes to Siri recommendation apps, you will normally have to go ahead and swipe to the left and then it'll give you some recommendations here. But now with iOS 9 beta 3, if you swipe down on your home screen, it is now included right there. So the Siri app suggestions are going to be here on spotlight by simply swiping down instead of swiping to the left here. Now in beta 3, you also get a new two factor authentication system. So it's going to give you a little more security. Now when it comes to beta 3 in the iPad, we do have a slight new feature and that's going to be the way the icons are displayed in your folders. So instead of having a three by three layout, which is just displaying nine different apps, we now have a four by four layout, both in the preview. And also when you select that folder, we have four by four. So we have a total of 16 apps being displayed at one time instead of just having a three by three layout. So instead of having nine apps displayed, we now have more. So it's good to see that the iPad screen is being taken advantage of to show more icons. Now, before we conclude this video, let's take a quick look at our sponsor. So if you're looking to sell your iPhone, I'd recommend checking out sellcashier.com. Now with sellcashier, they purchase iPhones from all major US carriers. They're currently operating in the US, but it's very simple. All you gotta do is select the iPhone that you're trying to sell, and it can range from the iPhone 4 all the way up to the iPhone 6 Plus. After you select the model, then you'll simply select the carrier, then the storage size and condition. And after that, you get an instant quote. Now from there, if you're satisfied with the quote, all you gotta do is provide the shipping information and then choose a shipping option. Now what's awesome is that Cell Cashier provides a prepaid label in a box for free. So if you wanna do that, you can go ahead and select that, but you can also ship it out with your own box and label. Now after that, all you gotta do is select the payment method. You can either do a check or PayPal. PayPal will be the fastest, of course, and lastly, you just click on sell now and then you just sold your iPhone. I've personally used sell cashier in the past to sell a couple of old iPhones. And I can definitely say it's very simple, fast and secure. It's as simple as getting a quote, shipping out your iPhone and then getting your cash money. But other than that, those are going to be some of the new features included in iOS 9 beta 3. Now, if you did find any additional features, maybe there's a little couple tweaks here and there. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. I'd be interested in checking those out. As always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video as it not only lets me know that you did like it, but it also supports the channel. And if you're not yet following me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram, all of my links are down below. I'm really active on Twitter and Instagram, so be sure to follow me on those for the latest updates. And lastly, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I come out with all of my future videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your support very much and uh, catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.